Hello Church, in our time together today, I want to share with you a question that I've been thinking in the last couple of weeks and I thought it would be just okay to share with you. And that is, how do we deal with rejection? And when I'm talking about rejection, I know that there's so many different topics that come to our mind where we can feel rejected. But the rejection that I want to talk to you today is how can we deal with rejection when we're sharing the good news or our testimony with people that we don't know? The reason why I'm asking you is because I see it more now than before, over and over, where when you want to share your testimony, when, when you want to talk to people about Jesus, there's a rejection. There's a sense of like, oh, I don't feel comfortable talking about this subject. You know that Matthew 5 verse 11 says that, blessed are you when people insult you persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. I think in order for us to be able to deal with rejection, we need to make sure that we are in a closer relationship with our Lord and Savior. If we know that we are in God and God is in us, we will feel empowered to go and share the good news of God with others, regardless of the outcome. Feeling rejected by sharing your testimony, it can be a little bit hard. And the Bible tells us some people are even going to be persecuted. Some people will be insulted. Some people will be talked falsely against them because of the gospel. The other day I was trying to share Jesus with someone and that person screamed at me and says, no, please. In a firm voice, he said he was not okay with me asking that question. And I understood. But at the same time, I understand that also our world is in darkness. I understand that we're moving away from God's presence. And I just want to tell you today that even when you, when there's rejection, even when sharing the good news is something that can feel intimidated, I want to tell you that you and I are the salt of the world. If you read the verses after verse 13 and 14 tells us that we are the salt of the world. We are God's light in the world. And so we need to keep shining God's light. We need to continue sharing the good news with others, regardless if whether that is something that it can be intimidated, as I said before, or we can feel that rejection. I just wanna remind you today that in God, everything is possible. With God, all things that are difficult to do can be done with his power. And the last thing for us to know how to deal with rejection and when we're sharing the good news is, I think, is to be prepared. Be prepared by knowing our Bible. Be prepared by knowing our verses. Be prepared by being in that, that constant relationship with God and be prepared with our testimony. How can we polish our testimony in a way that conveys the message, in a way that we can relate that message without offending, with compassion, with love? We should be asking God, Father, give me more opportunities where I can share the good news and help me not to feel rejected. And if I am, what an honor, just like the prophets before me did it. Church, let's share the good news with others around us, regardless of the outcome. Amen.